I'm Megan Schmidt, Executive Director of the Moberly Area Chamber of Commerce, and today we are celebrating Greyhound baseball and softball, and I have Coach Matt Bauer of Lady Softball, right? Okay, how does it feel to be the first coach of the first Lady Greyhounds softball team? It's, it's an unbelievable opportunity, obviously. I feel extremely blessed, um, you know, from the community to the administration to the, from the school all the way from the top to the bottom. It's been absolutely welcoming and wonderful and uh, unbelievable opportunity, you know, to start something fresh from the ground up. It's exciting. It's it, really exciting. So. Well, it is exciting for the entire community. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I know, okay, so are you recruiting new players? Um, are your girls staying with you next year? What does it look like moving forward? Yeah, so that's, that's kind of an interesting piece with uh, the two-year level, we're always recruiting, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's just part of it. So we have some things are kind of filtering through right now with who's staying, who who actually with dual credit has to go on to a four year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's exciting for them and we're trying to make sure that they get to play ball at, a ne at another school. So uh, that Greyhound family, we take care of them to get them in and we take care of them on their way out and that's extremely important. So um, we have a little bit of both going on. So really recruiting right now, trying to finalize that, that uh, class for next year. Mm -hmm that, that complements what we feel we have coming back to. So really have a good, strong uh, team uh, be able to hit all phases. Perfect, so I'm sure you don't have any idea of your schedule yet for the fall, or do you? Do not yet, no. Okay, so we all want to be the first to know when you announce first game, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress, so I'm it takes sure. a little bit. Yeah. I'm sure, so what are your needs right now from the community? Oh boy! <laughs> do you have that long <laughs> yeah, how much time do we have here? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, the, you know what happened here out at Howard Hills has been phenomenal to have this type of facility at ball field. So I am extremely grateful um, for the commitment from the city and from again the school. It's just now that we've played this spring and to see other facilities, I really appreciate what we have here. It's a beautiful thing. It's a great place to play softball. So. Uh, very grateful for that and you know from what do we need you know, just the fan support is, is great having fans out there cheering on these girls creating that electric at, uh, electric atmosphere really makes a difference you know the girls enjoy it uh, it gets a little extra zip in their step and um, it just it's fun so that's awesome okay so when it's time for the girls to play again How's the best way to find out the schedule and the games? Sure. So we're very active on social media. So Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, really try to stay in the forefront there. Every couple days you should be seeing something from us, whether it's game updates, recruiting updates, um, schedule updates. And, and sometimes schedule updates in the early spring are a lot more than a couple days, every couple days, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so that, that's a good way, social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. But otherwise, the Greyhound softball website has our schedule on it so you can always check there and when schedule changes happen right away I'm in there trying to make sure it's pretty quick within uh, us finding out some changes so perfect yeah. well we just want to say congratulations on getting your first season in the belt thank and you. we can't wait to see you again on the field appreciate it thank today you. we are celebrating Greyhound baseball I have coach Fletcher with me awesome how's it feel to be the coach of the first Greyhound baseball team uh, it's super unique this uh down where I grew up, uh, went through grade school here, high school here, graduated here. Attended many, many uh, Greyhound basketball games as a, as a youngster and always wondered why there was never baseball here. And had the opportunity to come back to town to start the program from scratch and hit the ground running and it's an awesome experience so far. Well, we're already enjoying seeing the players all over the community. So we just want to say thank you for all the hard work and effort investing in this team and moving the team forward. Tell us, when are you playing? Where are you playing? How do we find out all the information? Sure. So unfortunately, we've uh, we've gone three-fourths of the season already. Uh, but we do start uh, relatively soon as opposed to high school baseball, which is everybody's accustomed to around here. We got... We were in 20 games, and people were like, hey, when do you, uh, when do you kick off your season? It's like, well, we're 20 games in uh, as we start the beginning of February. Uh, so we got region coming up, but we play out here at Howard Hills. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, the 25th, we have Mineral Area at 1 and 3 o'clock right here uh, for doubleheader. It's two seven-inning games. And then this weekend, we go out to Heston, Kansas uh, to wrap up regular season. And then next week, we have one game with uh, region opponent East Central on Tuesday. That, that'd be at a neutral site. And then we have region tournament uh, on the weekend, which is in Union. Uh, best way to 
follow us through our school page, which is macc.edu. Uh, you can click the athletics tab, scroll down to baseball, find schedule. That gives you box scores, um, upcoming schedule, previous games, our stats, uh, headshots of the players. Uh, everything you need to know about Greyhounds. Okay, perfect. So I know also you guys are selling some Cardinals tickets right now. How does that help you and what does it do for sure. the community? So we actually were approached by the St. Louis Cardinals as they do with most college programs. Uh, the forefront of it is we sell X amount of tickets for the Cardinals. We do get a profit back that helps our program. So it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, but more importantly, what it does, it's not gonna really benefit the team now. Uh, it's what it can benefit the team in the next few years as now it puts us on a waiting list to be able to play a fall scrimmage or a fall game at Bush Stadium. So um, it'd be really unique to take a team down and, and play on a big league field for an afternoon. Uh, so it's putting us in the market for that. So it's a great way to uh, support your local Greyhounds. But if you don't want to support us and you just like the Cardinals, it's a cheap way to find a ticket for 30 bucks down the left field field line. And uh, be the first time ever you have a Cardinals ticket that says uh, MACC Greyhound Night. So, so basically, it's the Moberly section. It is the Moberly me. section. Okay, so, perfect. It's so a Wednesday night, 645 game. They play the Twins. And then uh, yeah, the proceeds go back and directly help the program. And we use those funds to help out with, with travel, team apparel, uh, training equipment, anything to really benefit these guys that uh, – bust their butts for us from August to May. Is there any other way that people can support you and your team right now? Oh, I mean, uh, any any we have the dugout club that uh, was tremendous this year. It allowed us to, to stay at some really nice places, eat better on the roads, uh, provide training equipment for these guys. Um, that That's always a nice hand. I try to keep that the emails updated as much as I can, give you guys first-hand knowledge of what's happening in Greyhound baseball. Um, that's one way. Uh, just seeing our guys in, in the community, uh, we've got a lot of guys that like to hunt and fish. So if anybody's got property or ponds that are under hunted or underfished, I, I can help you out in that area as well. They're, bu they're bug me all the time on that stuff. I love that they're diverse in yes. their hobbies. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to say thank you, and we are thrilled to see you in town. We know it's halfway through the season, but this was the nicest weather for a ribbon cutting. So thank you. Absolutely. Thanks. All right. Well, let's cut a ribbon.